Hi, this is Yin, and you're watching Tea and Caffeine, your casual gaming channel for the casual gaming people. And today, I'm gonna teach you how to get any villager to leave without time traveling and or villager abuse. As mentioned, this method does not require time traveling but can still work if you do. The content of this video is backed up by information data mined from the game, credits to Ninji on Twitter, and also from my own experience and other players as well. This video is kinda late as there are already a ton of videos out there teaching you how to remove villagers by abusing them or time traveling. But I'm here to lay down the facts and proof of these methods that can work for gameplay without time travel. A disclaimer, I do not condemn time traveling in any way, but acknowledge that all of us enjoy and consume our games differently. So I request and hope that we don't judge each other for our preferences. Before I begin, let's talk about the mechanics related to moving villages. The villager moving out is decided randomly. Friendship does influence this chance, but it is very minimal. The higher the friendship, the lower the likelihood of them wanting to move. Ignoring a villager, complaining to Isabel, hitting them with a net, fencing them in, trapping them with pitfall seats, and filling their yard with trash will not force the game to make them leave unless RNG dictates. Remember that all methods take 50% time and 100% luck, even if you're time traveling. So be patient! Well, unless you have an amiibo, then you have the power of consumerism. So, there are three main methods for villagers to move out of your island. Number one, amiibo. This is the only method that guarantees which villager you're getting and which villager you can kick out. Number two, the campsite. This occurs randomly at a peak rate of 20% after 6 days from your last campsite visitor. Inviting a campsite visitor when you have 10 villagers on your island will cause them to randomly kick out an existing villager, which you can exploit by resetting your game until they choose your desired villager to be evicted. In this method, villager selection is completely random, ignoring friendship and birthdays. Number 3. The Thought Bubble Method this is the method that we will be discussing in detail. The thought bubble that we are talking about is the one where your villager tells you that they want to move away from your island. This will only appear after you have at least 6 villagers on your island. If you tell this villager not to leave, the thought bubble will enter a cooldown period of 5 days where it will not appear. After that, it will start appearing at a random chance, maximizing at 80% after 30 days. If you have a villager leaving by thought bubble or campsite method, the cooldown period is 15 days. Also note that not all thought bubbles are triggers for your villager wanting to leave. Sometimes they just want to give you a gift or ask you to buy something. There are however a few exceptions to this rule. A thought bubble will not appear on a villager whose house is being moved if they are the last villager with a thought bubble and was told to stay if they are celebrating a birthday recently and if they are the latest villager to move into your island. But the last two are a little questionable because there has been cases where villagers who are celebrating their birthday within 7 days or have just moved in recently asked to leave via thought bubble. Now that we got that out of the way, here are the steps to using the thought bubble method to get rid of your villagers. First, play your game like normal until one day you find a thought bubble of a villager telling you that they want to move out of your island. Second, if it's not a villager that you want to kick out, go to your switch home and close the software. By turning off your game without ending the dialogue, you do not trigger autosave and so the game does not register the thought bubble as being used and will not trigger a cooldown. Third, you can open Animal Crossing New Horizons again and play as usual, but do not interact with the villager thinking to move for the rest of the day. Fourth, on the next day, there will be a chance for this thought bubble to transfer to another villager. If it's still not a villager that you want to kick out, reset the game and wait another day. Eventually, after a few days or weeks, at the mercy of RNGs, the thought bubble will land on a villager that you want to kick out and it's time to let them go. This method basically ignores the 5 day cooldown that we mentioned earlier and increases the chance of the thought bubble landing on your villager of choice at a daily rate. Remember, 
Removing villages takes time and luck. A few last things to note. The villager thinking to move can have non-thinking moments throughout the day, especially when they are indoors. At this time, it is possible to interact with them regularly. When the thought bubble is not on the villager thinking to move, regular thought bubbles can appear on other villagers as well. So, if you have already identified the villager thinking to move off the day, it is safe to interact with other villagers with thought bubbles. Moving away thought bubbles will not appear on a day when your villager is celebrating a birthday, when KK Slider visits, or during a fishing and bug event. It is also possible to have a campsite visitor and moving away thought bubble on the same day. And that's it! Before I end, I will share with you my experience with the thought bubble method as proof that it works for someone who is not time traveling. I wanted either Savannah, Lopez, or Gail to leave. And Marshall was the last villager to move to my island. I started my experiment with the first thought bubble appearing on Friga on the 12th of May. The thought bubble stayed on Friga for two days before moving on to Frank. There were then no thought bubbles for two days because KK Slider visited on Saturday and it was Gail's birthday on Sunday. The thought bubble reappeared on Antonio before moving on to Tia for three days in a row. The thought bubble then transferred to Frank before it was Saturday again. It reappeared on Frank for two more days before transferring to Tia again. Then it transferred to Audi. And finally, on the 28th of May, the thought bubble appeared on Lopez, who was my villager of choice, and I eventually let him go. The whole process took me 17 days. Thanks for watching this video and I hope it helped clear some myths and help you in your journey to an island full of your dreamies. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try my best to help you out. Remember to like this video and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you love our content. Tia and I stream Animal Crossing every weekend so remember to tune in. Remember to pray to Iron Jesus and I'll see you next time.